Planet Fitness, and for those who doubt, Planet Fitness can get you stronger. Here with Kyla again. She's gonna help me show. Uh, there was a couple people curious on how to do some workouts at home, so uh, if you buy a pair of bands, uh, they're like ten dollars. I'll show you how to work out from home using simple bands to hit the full body. So let's go. So oh wait, it's face towards me. Is it? Yes. We're gonna do bicep back workout and legs at the same time. You don't have to stop it. Go ahead. Go ahead, your turn. Same thing. So basically, you're going to do, these are our pyramids. So you're going to do, you can start at 7 or 10 or whatever. Uh, if you're starting all, start at 7. Yeah. So basically, uh, it works back and buys and legs. So she would do 7 of these, and then 6, and then 5 of these, and then 4, and then 3, and then 2, and then 1. Um, but that's just one of the workouts. Just do 10 and stop. Boom. You're good. So you would do, it depends on where you want to start. Uh, if you're really, really beginning, start at five. If you got a little bit of strength, seven. Ten is pretty hard, so you do seven. The next workout, seven. The next workout, seven, which I'll show you. And then you do six, 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 and then five, 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 four, 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 all the way down to one, and then you're done. So I'll show you the next one you're going to do. Remember, you don't do seven, six, five, four in the same one. You do seven or ten or whatever number you pick of all the workouts that you do, and then you go to six of all of them, then five of all of them. All right, we'll go to the next one. Uh, now, so, uh, so now I'm going to do chest and shoulders together. Just like this. Now when we do this, no, so you can see my face. So when you do this, so forward, this, and then this counts as one. So you go forward and then above your head, that's one. So you do a chest and then shoulder and then that's one. So it's not like one, two, three, four, all the way up. All right, Tyler, hop in here. She's gonna do the same thing, forward, then out, forward, then out. Move forward a little bit. Yeah, straight out in front of you. Perfect. <laughs> no, I'll show you. So, go ahead, grab them, grab them. No. So, push your hands sideways. Oh, sideways. Push it forward, and then back, and then out, like right here. Touch my hand. Yeah, and then touch my hand, and touch my hand. Good. Touch my hand. Yes. Nice. Good job. So uh, that's the chest and shoulder workout. You can go a little higher if you want, but remember you're gonna push it out straight in front of you and then up by like your eye level. And that's the second one, same thing. So you do the first one, seven or whatever, second one, seven. Uh, all right, we got two more left and I'll show you them. So this is gonna be uh, a little bit of buys, a little bit of shoulder and mostly triceps. Same thing, both workouts count as one and you gotta do them on both sides. So it's basically gonna be, if you did seven, it would be 14 all together on both sides, uh, or just seven all together, so. Here. One. Two. Three. So, as you can see, those are, and that's another one to do with the ants. Uh, and remember, all you need is a, just a railing, a guard rail, you can do, do it outside, so she'll show you too. Yeah, the other one doesn't matter. Nope, keep your arm tucked in, remember? Like this, attached to your side. Yeah, try to keep it close to your side, boom. And then you go, there. almost, almost. Keep your hand like this, kind of like you're trying to stab somebody. Oh, like. Yeah, boom, boom, like that, like you're trying to stab somebody. Yeah, good. Huh? No, yeah, it, it touches your side. So, so what you should see is, good. This one right here. So when she's doing this one, go go out. You want your uh, elbow to touch your hip, 
Go ahead. When you go down, no, do that one. you doesn't have to touch. Go ahead. And touch, down, doesn't have to touch. And this right here, so that's one, go, that's two, and you, and that's basically, you get the idea. So now we got the last one, and this is abs. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Down here. Oh. Sit up position. And you're just going to hold it right here close to your side. And you're just going to move around a little more. You want, it, you want it to be tension. So you want it to be a little tight. And you're just going to go down. Come on. Just like that. Down. Come on. Like that. If you are uh, too easy, then you can put it behind your head like this. Make sure you cross your feet. Make sure like, you put my feet in there. That's too hard, you do a crush. So right here, on the street, on the street, boom. Just like that. Boom. So just do the crunch one. Go ahead. So she's just going to do the crunch one, which is the easiest one to do. Keep your arms straight, and all you got to do is do a crunch, so halfway up. I got it. So move forward so it's a little bit of tension. Good. Keep your arm straight out in front of you. Go ahead. Just do a crunch. You want to go all the way down? Oh, no. Yeah, a little bit up. I don't know if I can get up. Right there, that's it. Just a crunch. Oh, okay. <laughs> go ahead. Good. That's it. Stop. I'm going to kill yourself. Well, she did abs first because I, uh, I trained her earlier, so she's doing abs first. As you can see, she lost a lot of weight. It's good shape. So that's um, that's what she would do for you know muscle wise, and then for cardio, I'll show you uh, what she would do for cardio. Remember those four workouts. You would do if you're doing seven, you would do seven of all of them, and then you would do six of all of them, and then you do cardio afterwards. And cardio is the same thing. Uh, well, actually, you add cardio into it. So you do seven, including the cardio. I'll show you that in a second. You can use this with any steps, uh, find some steps. Everyone has steps. Uh, this one's gonna be, let's say we do seven. So you do seven here. It's gonna be seven across the board. So seven of everything, seven of this, and then you go six of everything, six of this. So you're just gonna go seven jumping jacks. After you've done seven, you can do step ups. Now, each foot counts as one, so we'll go like that. Three. Two. Wait, two. Three. Four. Go ahead. Oh. So I gotta do, just do like three or four. You don't have to do the full thing. So she'll do her makeshift seven, down, up at the, you're gonna switch feet that step on top of the platform. Oh, okay. So yeah, right, left foot up. Left foot down, right foot up, right foot down, that's one. Left foot up, left foot down, right foot up, right foot down. Good job. So um, that's it's an easy and that's going to be a cardio workout. Uh, I see you do everything. So you start off with the uh, um, back and legs, seven. Uh, if you want to start off, we'll just say seven because I use that number to start off. Then you would go chest and shoulders, seven. Um, then you would go side and tries, seven abs seven and then step up seven and then you do six of everything and that's uh basically how you do an at-home workout hit the full body still get your cardio and i would do it three or four times a week three if you're tired five if you're being a little ambitious so that's it for today i'm um, on becoming a savage that's how you become your own savage at home uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, click that notification bell that pops up after you subscribe tell your friends about it ask me questions and i'm gonna go become a savage